Hello, everybody. Welcome to another segment or another presentation of Parents as Teachers at Home Path. You know, I want you to know that you're not alone on this journey of homeschooling. There are many of us that have gone before you and there will be many of us that will come after you. So you are here, you're in good company and we're here to help you. Once again, my name is Joyce Burgess. I'm here with my lovely friend, Angela Valentine. If you want to find out more information about the work that we do, my email address is contact at nbhe.net. Uh, Angela will give you her email address at the end of our presentation. Our web address is www.nbhe.net. Just in case you wanted to find out any more information about who we are, the work we do, what we stand for, and our successes and accomplishments as a national Black organization that reaches out to all parents, not just Black parents, not just parents who are homeschooling, although those are our target groups, but we reach out to all parents because every child deserves a first class education and every child needs to know another child's history. So today we're gonna to be talking about art, creating a passion for beauty in your children. And I know my eyes may be going up because I will be reading, I will be reading some very important information that I think you need to know as a parent. So I wanna talk about art. I have created art profiles or art supplemental work text. Basically the whole idea of creating these supplement resources is because as a new homeschool mom some years ago, I had no idea what I wanted my children to learn. So after going through catalogs and catalogs uh, for information on curriculum, I decided until I found something that I liked, I created supplement resources on every subject, just a little bit about everything. And so what I'm gonna be pre presenting to you today is what I discovered about art and why it's important creating the profile sheets and what you can do with them. So here we go. Art is important not only as a part of our lives, but as a part of history. The art supplement that I created is designed as a basic tool to use either at home or during, or during a tour of the museum. It is a great field trip idea. I remember when I was in college, I would visit museums and the instructor given all of us a profile sheet or a fill in the blank sheet, basically identifying what we saw in the painting or picture, uh, the lighting effects of the picture, maybe the images that were in the picture, just what we thought about it and how it made us feel. So that's pretty much what my profile sheets do on every grade level. So these profile sheets, you can take them to your local museum. It is a great field trip idea to take your students to an art museum and allow them to fill out the art profile on two or three of the most important and interesting paintings in the museum. However, if you don't have time to visit a museum like it was when I was homeschooling. We only had one car. My husband had to take that to work. And if I wanted to go somewhere, I had to plan for it at least two weeks in advance or a week in advance so that I can have the car for the day. But you know, I use books. I would go to the local library and check out books about different artists of whom I will be naming some later. And I would use those books and answer the pro to answer the questions from the profile sheet. You can also get a book of famous paintings, like I just said, allow your children to study the pictures and complete the profile sheets 
from there. You may also want to set a focus on a particular artist, like say for your family, the month of June, you may want to focus on uh, Renoir for the month of June. Just learn all of the captures of things that he enjoyed painting, maybe learn about his life and just see where in your local community or across the country, you know, because they have people who buy into certain artists work and they may set up museums or uh, an older home or historical house where they will showcase these, um, these paintings or the works of different artists. So check out in your local community once I give you the names of some of the artists that I want to recommend to you, check out and see where in the country is there a, a place that features these artists' works. So I want to go from here and, and just broaden your, your horizons and offer some African-American painter, painters to you. We have Edward Bannister, Henry Oswa Tanner, we have Jacob Lawrence and Robert Duncanson. Those are just a few of African-American painters. African-American, other African-American painters, those are uh, uh, other African-American sculptors rather, because a part of art is not just painting, it's also sculpturing, sculptors. We have Selma Burke, Richard Hunt, and Augusta Savage. Um, other sculptors, other sculptors and other painters are, well, let me give you the other painters first. We have Renoir, we have Claude Monet, Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, Mary Cassette, we have Edgar Dugas, and lastly, Vincent Van Gogh. Those are some of my favorite artists and their works just take you away, they transport you. Other sculptors, of course, are Edward Degas and Michelangelo. Some people say Michelangelo, but I think it's Michelangelo. I'm not sure, but I think you get the idea of who he is. Some of the recommended resources, Angela's going to have one up on the screen for you. And the name of this book is an African, is, excuse me, it's a, there it is right there. Thank you, Angela. Uh, Recommended Resources, A History of African-American Artists by Romare Bidden, Burden and Harry Henderson. Um, you can also use the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. I think they have a website that you can visit and just browse through some of the paintings there. And of course, the philipscollection.org, www.philipscollection.org. And of course, as I've said earlier, you can use your local art museum in your local community if there is one, or you can check out across the country. There are other art museums where people have considered famous artists work and they wanna keep that around. So, that's all I have to say today about art supplements by Joyce Burgess and the art profile sheets by Joyce Burgess as well. You can get those by joining the National Black Home Educators at www.nbhg.net or you can go to joycemburgess.com where you can get them also there. All righty, take care and thank you. See you next time.